Uh, hello guys on YouTube. I got a flashlight review for you guys today. Well, this review is about a modification I done to my 3 cell mag light and I changed it to a 4 cell C cell flashlight instead of using 3 D cell batteries. And I also got new batteries for my flashlight. These are the four C batteries on and now. Now those four batteries makes it a little bit more brighter with the 3 watt LD and stuff like that. Uh, let's talk about the flashlight here. Well, it's unidentified aluminum. It's very good. Here is the 3 watt LD light inside the mag light. Of course, this is the body, only a push it style light, kind of hear that click, works just fine, it's a pretty good flashlight, I really like it a lot, it's uh, I mean it's pretty cool, um, there's a couple of things I changed, I had to take the original spring out and also the spare bulb to put the four cell C cell um, batteries up. Well, let's go ahead and open it up and show you what I mean on the inside of my mag light. Alright, first we're going to start off with the tail cap. So here's the tail cap, just a standard tail cap. Let's take out the string. There's me, I sanded all of the um, black paint for the new spring. But you can also get a cut in your original spring, but I have not. I just decided to get a new spring instead to put inside of it. And yes, and you're all going to, have to take out your original spring and your original bulb. And also, you're going to be taking out your three cell D batteries as well. You're not going to be not needing those anymore. Alright, let's go and set the tail cap right there. And let's show you what I got. One battery. Two. Three. Four. C batteries. You can see guys, I have extra. Because I might be putting these ones in. I have extra of these. I have a, a video on these by the way. These are the same as these ones. Uh, I see I'm wanting four of the C cell batteries inside this flashlight. And the problem is when I did my testing outside, I kind of dented the batteries. And done that's not a good thing for the batteries. Well, don't worry guys, I got extra ones. These I might use for something else. And I will be putting... And the new ones. And let's go ahead and open these ones on camera. Yeah, I don't mind. These are what they look like. I bought these to replace the ones I dented when I did my uh, video. And I didn't mean to when I looked at them. So, hey, really. It's so, like, you know, it's like, it's kind of hard to tell you what flashlight, uh, what batteries you can use in your flashlight. But, you know, you can also use rechargeable batteries in your, um, flashlight if you want. That's this called the garbage. You don't need it now. And you can see, you just seen a unboxing of the brand new batteries. I will be, probably will be recycling these. And going to be reusing these. Well, I need to charge these first before I use them. Well, let's get inside the flashlight. You can see. Let's go ahead and oops. Let's go ahead and pull out the tube I made. This is a tube I made for the three cell mag to hold the four D C cell batteries and what you're going to do 
is you're going to be taking out your out your um, own oil gold batteries. You see, I can now put oil gold uh, D batteries long if you remove the um, tube mod I did for the um, flashlight. And yes, and you are going to have to, if you decide to go back to your arm values, you are going to take the arm spring out and put that one back in. Well, the reason why, here is the tube I made. And you also need room for your cap when you are putting your batteries on down inside your tube. Well, remember, however it's going to stick out, like that, the on ass gonna stick out like this. The reason why, because this is a three cell mag, and the cap is gonna go over top of the um, over top of the battery. Now this is the one I've been using, the tube. By the way, you can see this is just a homemade uh, paper tube. Uh, you can probably get um, a PVC pipe. You can make it out of PVC if you want to. That's also up to you. And yes, and I will be putting these on the total tonight. And I will probably save these for a known flashlight or a just extra batteries. Or if the don't like, I can just use those for something else. And yes, I got more C cell batteries. And yes, you do need four C batteries to go out your three cell mag light into a four cell light but when you put your tube in you gotta make sure it goes in nice and flush against the lip pill against the threads you want it down from the threads to the bottom and when you put your batteries on you also gotta make sure how you put them in. Okay, you're sticking them in like this. But when I turn the guy around, the flashlight, you notice you got extra space around each side of the four C batteries. That's why you need that space tool to take that um, that um, extra space in. And when I take the cap and I screw the cap down, the cap is not going to stick up. Okay, see you guys, and that's how you get your 3 cell mag light to work off of rechargeable batteries. And yes, and these are rechargeable, guys, by the way, these are not, I mean, you can use regular batteries if you want, but I chose to use rechargeable because I just like rechargeable batteries. The reason why, because it's easier and I don't have to keep buying extra batteries when my, fa and when my flashlight dies. Well, this is a 3 watt LED. I will be replacing the plastic lens with a glass lens eventually. I mean, it's already scratched up. I don't know if you guys can see that. But you see, it's very, very bright on some occasions when it wants to be. And that's my flashlight overview of my Maglite flashlight. Alright guys, I hope you like this video, like this video, please uh, please subscribe to my channel, please leave a comment below if you want any more high def or any more reviews of my 3 cell conversion to 4 C, -side C batteries instead of using the standard old, um, 3 cell D cell batteries. Alright uh, guys, I hope this video was interesting, give me a like, comment below, subscribe to my channel, okay guys, peace out, bye from your technology Chris.